Hello and welcome everybody. This is Eric777. Already back today with the third video during the last seven days. That is crazy. Uh, it looks like the YouTube spirit is coming back uh, slowly again. And uh, yeah, as I promised, I am back today with a video of the DJI S1000 to show to you the Sony Nex 7 and the gimbal that we actually installed in use. And uh, the material was captured by myself yesterday uh, because we had a photographer coming up to shoot some pictures of this machine because um, this is not my copter. Uh, I was just building it together for the company that I uh, work for here and there uh, to do the flying videos. And uh, this one here will end up in a prospect or in a magazine, a local stuff, to show it to uh, hopefully some new clients. So there we had some photos looking very nice. And um, yeah, there it is, the gimbal and the Sony Nex 7. And as you saw at the beginning of this video, we had a lot of wind yesterday. So this is the hardcore test for this copter. Um, here you can see it, the wind is totally crazy. Uh, I even had to wait uh, until I took off because uh, otherwise it would have kicked sometimes the copter to the ground So this is even not the hardest moment and there you see how it looks like now um, I know the lens was dirty and there was a little hair uh, on the sensor and that's making me crazy too But we are going to clean that uh, very soon. So here we are um, There you can see the copter's leg you see vibrations um uh, here and there you see the movement and uh, as i told that is the moment when i take off a, a little bit less wind but really crazy and the gimbal did a very very good job so um as i told to you we are uh, flying this uh, with two persons so i'm flying it i'm the guy down there on the left side with the blue shirt this one here and uh my mate in the gray shirt who is actually moving the camera so um, what you cannot see is how the copter was behaving because um, right now that there was no tuning done I just was building it together um, the values are still the standard values so there is still a lot to check out and this is the first time that he tries to uh, use the camera with a second remote control so there you saw again the lag coming in of the picture because uh, this was really crazy and I have to I have to say this uh, gimbal does a very good job because normally when we fly we don't have so much of wind so this here is uh, I guess an extreme condition and when we are done with uh, the little tuning works then uh, this should work out more or less so there you again uh, in the background you can see the flag and you can see uh, how it goes up and down so the wind was not coming just from one direction or something but it was really uh, moving around and um, when I went down again uh, it was really hard to uh, to land it because the wind was even passing down uh, on uh, under a copter very much and so uh, I'm, I'm very very glad how this worked out and that is the moment when I want to land it again even there um, this is after like 10 minutes of uh, flight time. There you see slowly we get even into it. So um, he's holding it on the camera, the, the um, cameraman, <laughs> the photograph, the camera. And uh, you see, you can do really a lot of nice things after you get used to this. All right, that was it already for today. I thank you very much that you had the time to watch this video. Leave me a nice comment and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Come back soon, bye bye.